Uh, Craig Casillas. I hate bringing these things. Good evening. Mr. Chairman, last time I was here, you deflected my questions to the county attorney. Um, with respect, the county attorney wasn't elected on a platform of openness and transparency. Um, and what I'm trying to learn is the thought process that led to this clause being disregarded. This is the deal here. Um, there are a number of properties that could, or projects that very well could have been applied to this list. There's no evidence that that anything was done, that any del deliberations, there was no list. Um, but before that vote was taken, um, a commissioner left. Commissioner Ott left to do what his office considers to be a mandatory photo op in Cumberland. But before he left, he took a shot at me, and I'm here to defend myself, Mr. Chairman. Two points he made. One was the Braves Bridge. There was discussion about the number of parking spots that are available at the, Calice or at the, uh, at the Galleria. First of all, the 38% figure was made up. Now, how do I say this? Why do I say this? Because I asked. There was no discussion with the Galleria about parking prior to the ARC. No discussion. And when are these parking lots or parking spaces available? When they decide. Second point you brought up was Windy Hill. Second point the commissioner brought up was Windy Hill and Terrell Mill. Now, this created a fiction, a facade that there was a discussion about this clause when there wasn't. There's no evidence of that taking place. So, you want to discard Windy Hill, Terra Mill? I'd be all for that. What about Interstate North Parkway? Um, do you have anything? Thank you. Sir. Now, hey, Greg, one question. For clarity, are you talking about Windy Hill and Terminal meaning the, uh, the Diversion Diamond Interchange? If you look at the if you look at the document, you'll see that there's nothing in there about whether it was prior to the deal or after the deal. Okay. And in fact, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we heard during the discussion for both of those projects that it's going to increase, as it says here, to accommodate access. So we've heard a number of projects. In fact, pretty much every project that's been built in Cumberland for the next for the last three years has been said to improve access. Therefore, they should qualify. You can't have it both ways, sir. I just want to make sure that when you said Windy Hill and Terrell Mill. That's correct. Those are, if you see, it says move, realign existing roadways. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right. Okay. I just want to make sure I understand what you're talking about. Anything else? No. Thank you very much. As always. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.